Greetings, dear brothers and sisters. Um, my name is Isa Bokarsi. On our session today, I present myself before you as a third and concerned brother while reflecting on past memories with appreciation and commendation towards Asanture, the brother of the late Abdurrahman Ture. Well, as believers, we must promote truth and facts. Because if you don't promote truth and facts, you will most likely be expelled from the sphere of faith. And we don't want to see ourselves be expelled from the sphere of faith. I want to share this testimony with every Gambian today that Asan Ture has been one of the most determined, sophisticated, and strategic fighters I have ever met within and outside the Gambia. I have not spoken to the brother for a while and I'm pretty sure that even though he is going through trying times, when he sees my face talk about what we did together, it may make him sink in deep thought and a smile not because he's happy, but he'll smile because he's satisfied of what he did for his country. There is no better witness to what Asan Ture, of course, with, with the support of his brother, the departed Abdurrahman Ture, did during the fight against tyranny than I, Isa Bokar Si. Asan Ture, while in Toledo, tax, in Toledo Ohio, when he left Texas, after he was frustrated by the Second Republic and the former regime, came back not an angry man. He came back, his words to me when he called me, he calls me bro. He said, bro, in Fulani, that is why his words. He said, anything you see is Allah. It's, all, it's only Allah who is in control and no one else. The brother narrated to me the ordeal he went through at mile two. But one thing that many Gambians don't know is that the former regime asked Hassan and his brother, the departed Abdurrahman Turi, to install secret cameras in cells, particularly in high-profile prisoners, in the cells, I mean, harboring high-profile prisoners without the knowledge of the former directorate of Mile 2. Asan Ture refused. That's why Asan was kept there. He protected Gambians against all odds and was almost dead. Asan Ture himself is a walking dead man. He was on the list of people to be killed and he knows that I told him that. So, apart from that, I won't mention the names of the people that we work together, but if you hear about the executive order today from the authorities in the United States of America, Asan Ture is one of those people who work so hard through Officer X and Officer Y and Officer Z to feed in information that many people didn't know about the former regime. Let me tell you that today. One of those people is in West Africa. Very powerful for that matter. The other one is here in the United States. The other one is with me in Louisville. We worked with these people. I'm not going to mention their names. One thing I want to tell people is that I, Isa Bokarsi, am not known for praising people. 
but I would never hesitate to commend the people. Hassan Toure, the death of Buba Balde, was almost going to cause him a nerve-wracking experience. It's only Allah that helped him, and he found comfort after visiting the great Marabu in Medina Gunas. I know what I'm telling you. He came to visit me in my house here in Louisville with his entire family. I spoke to his mother, our mother. In fact, I remain sad and concerned because the things that the mother told me about what some of us should do to stand up and support the new regime, when I hear these reports coming left, right, and center about the demise of Abdurrahman, it leaves me sad and concerned. So my question is then, what is the fate of people like me if we wanted to do what Abdurrahman did? Or is that the weight that is already there, creating pollution and smoke? Is that why some sons and daughters of the Gambia are today being ostracized and snubbed and rejected and blocked? I'm remaining concerned now, to be honest with you. Let me tell you, I'm not going to divulge the files that I worked on with Asan, but I don't think people on the ground know who Asan Ture himself is. Indeed, Daraman, his legacy speaks for itself. The personality speaks for itself. What Daraman himself did regarding investigations about the death of Alaji Mahmoud Sise and Ibu Job, only Allah knows, let alone Asan himself. You know what, Gambians? You know what? You know what? Don't play with Asan Ture. Even if I have not heard from Asan for 10, 15 years, or even, God forbid, if there was any fracas between him and I, and that has never happened, I would still make it public to every Gambian that this is a brother. People on the ground shouldn't play with. This is nothing like raising somebody as if he's extraordinary special. If you talk to us and he may say more about me. I'm not here to promote Asan as a businessman. I'm here to talk about what I know about Asan as a citizen and what he did. And the people that he works with. I wouldn't advise any system to, to, to turn him into a victim or to play with him. He does not tell people what sophistication is behind him. We understand people are sending, I mean, uh, people are malicious sometimes. You hear speeches on the forum, on TVs, oh, this so-called this, this so-called that. <laughs> Brothers, I am not a so-called Asan is not a so-called. Find out. Be very careful. Be very, very, very careful of sidelining, snobbing, frustrating, and ridiculing, and snobbing every other person. Bahna.